everybody, it's Dwellis, Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. Um, I'm here to share with you today a project that I actually made probably about four years ago. And it was for a competition um, in a doll group that I belong to, a doll collecting group. And we had to take a sock, a white sock, and we had to make a doll from it. So, sorry, I keep picking this stuff as I see stuff. Um, so I decided that I would do my doll as Princess Alice, which is one of Queen Victoria's children, so a little Victorian girl, um, a very wealthy little Victorian girl, of course, a very privileged little Victorian girl. So I want, so I I made my sock up to the basic pattern, and then I decided that I wanted to have some movement in it, and so I put armature into it, which means that her arms and her legs could be moved. Um, I was the only one in the competition that actually did that, so that was that was pretty cool. Um, and I actually won the competition with this girl. So, um, yeah, so just to show you, she is, a, she is a sock, it's just one sock, and you can move her legs and you can move her, straighten her leg and do all kinds of wonderful things with her. Um, you can move her arms up and down. You can move her at the waist. She can turn. Yeah, so, um, so that's just a real quick video. I just was looking at her and I thought, well, you know, there are some doll people, people who do scrapping as well as dolls. Uh, this is a lovely little jeweled mirror that I found. I don't know where I found it. Probably in an op shop, I imagine. Just beautiful. And I thought, that is fitting for a little princess. So it's a real mirror. We've got it in the hand there. And she's looking at herself in the mirror because it's, it's her birthday. Um, I made her up. I found a picture of Princess Alice. Um, and she was wearing a dress virtually the same as this. Um, in similar colours. So I decided that that's what I would use. And that's what I made. This is a beautiful frilled. I did it as a circular pattern, which is... <coughs> sorry, that's... Excuse me. The phone's ringing in my little papillon in the craft room with me, who's normally quiet, is barking. Um, yeah, so I made it on a circular pattern, which is how they did them in, in about 1850, when this little girl was around. And um, did it with some pleated trim on top of the satin. And it's all kind of lined underneath as well, so there's no nastiness or messy business showing there. And then I put an overskirt with white and with embroidered things, lace and trims with um, amber. That's my other dog, my golden retriever, barking at the kitchen now because he's disturbed. Um, and then I made a, did her face and her hair. I did her hair out of mohair and wound it. It was in ringlets, but over the years it's dropped out. Um, and I had never done a face on a doll before. I'd never made a sock doll before either. But um, I did her face. I practiced several times on paper and then felt brave enough to do it because I'm not an artist. But I think she came out okay. Um, yeah, as I say, her, her hair looks a bit of a mess now, but it was in lovely ringlets to begin with. So, And she's got a full set of... I made the little shoes myself as well in satin little topaz things and she's got now you know this little princess would have had silk underwear I'm sure but you know I gave her cotton I guess cotton was um, pretty much for luxury in those days as well because it had to come from there the British Empire in India and she's got um, drawers on as you can see the long legged drawers a petticoat that one. So there you go. I just thought I'd share that with you. She can sit up on her own as long as she's draping over a bench. Um, I was really pleased. I was really pleased to to win with this, but um, over the years she's you know she's not as pristine looking as she is. She's in my craft room. Okay, so I just thought I'd share that with you. I don't know why. That's just a quick short video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye.